Hi, everybody. Do you remember what it was like when we first arrived at Babson? You know, back in August of 2018. A lot like now, there was so much excitement in the air. But that excitement was characterized with nerves and a yearning to make friends who would experience the first few days of college with us. This was all culminated by the welcome cheers that we got from upperclassmen as we made that turn past the Babson College sign and by the large columns of Knight Auditorium that greeted us as we picked up our very first ever Babson Lenovo laptop and one card. It took us many late nights and early mornings over the course of the past four years. And here we are, still a little tired from an early morning, but embracing the moment in which we embark on post-undergraduate life. Good morning, everyone. My name is Alina Washington, and I'm not sure what it was like for you when you first arrived at Babson, but for me, I thought that I needed to have everything figured out within my first year. I mean everything, including my career path, the organizations that I wanted to be part of, and even the types of friends that I wanted to have. I guess my point is that, for a second, I really believed that I knew exactly who I was and who I wanted to be when I first arrived here. Maybe you were like me, and you thought you knew exactly what you were here for and maybe you weren't and felt the exact opposite way. Regardless, Babson opened all of our eyes up to the larger world of potential and possibilities. We learned that life is not linear and that the beauty of going to college is that you get to deep dive and dig into who you are and what you like. As we celebrate the things that we have learned about ourselves during our time with Babson, I can't help but find myself also thinking back to one of the very first lessons that Babson taught us. Fail, and fail fast. Now we all know that the idea of failure is terrifying. So of course, we naturally ask the question, why should we embrace failure when that is admittedly a scary thing to do? Babson has taught us that putting work into something that may result in failure is one of the best ways to be successful. Why? Because it teaches us how to have grit and endurance, all the while training our minds to be agile and inquisitive. What might have been tough to understand as first years, four years later, we all know that imperfections are natural and can be the root of opportunity. More than that, imperfections are what make us human and are what give us the room to learn and grow. So, fail, and fail fast. From some of my own failures, and with the help of my parents, mentors, faculty, and friends at Babson who have helped me reflect on them, I have learned three key things. that my intention does not always match my impact, as Professor Tina Opie taught me, that people are at the center of innovation and success, and therefore they need to be treated as such, and most importantly, at the core of my speech, that it is okay to fail, because opportunities often emerge from difficulty. Now, I know that we don't want to think or talk about the pandemic, and this is not a pandemic speech. However, it is important to celebrate us as the class of 2022, the only class at Babson to have lived through life at Babson before, during, and after the pandemic. And I think we need to give ourselves a big round of applause for that. Friends, it has been a real journey for us, and I know that we have experienced our fair share 
of failures and difficulties. I also know that we will forever ask ourselves, will late night rays ever come back? Uh, <laughs> I do not have an answer to that question. Unfortunately, they didn't tell me. But um, I can leave us with some words from a famous thought leader. Let us embrace our diverse experiences, challenges, and learnings, and let us fail early, fail often, but always fail forward so that we can reach the highest peaks of success. Congratulations, everyone, and cheers to our luminous futures. Thank you.